Yes, and we gave him the option of taking the nose taping off, but he, he thought he'd just stick with it and that it looks all right. But, um, Sean, you had two touches yourself up until quarter time. Would have been easy to kind of go into your shell, but you, you demanded a footy and from a teammate, went back and kicked a telling goal for your team and things turned around from there. Congratulations on your game. What changed at quarter time? Yeah, I think it was a combination of a lot of things happening for us, to be honest. But, um, yeah, it was pleasing to get back into the game. Sorry, I'm shooting all over. But um, it was a really big weekend for the footy club. Uh, a huge game for us on a Friday night. We don't get the opportunities too often. And um, the first quarter wasn't... We weren't playing the way we wanted to play. We were, our pressure was down. We weren't getting the footy forward. So there was a lot of guys that stepped up on a big night. So it was a pleasing win. Sounds like you've had a fast track kind of opportunity to get to know your new coach. But what did you learn about him at quarter time tonight? Yeah, he was great because he just told us to relax. And, you know, we were probably trying a little bit too hard and it comes across that we're way off. So he told us to relax, to settle down. We know the way that we wanted to play. He encouraged us to get back playing that way. And he's done that for eight weeks now. And pleasing for him, he's, he's put up with a lot the last month under the constant pressure of asking him whether he's got the job. And a big week for him and his family. So pleasing that we could get the result for him as well. Congratulations. And on your family, you better get rid of that before you get home to Rosie. She might be scared. <laughs> Go and enjoy it. Thanks, Congratulations. Mate.